All right. Well, now to our last real, real deal. Facebook is hiring social networking company looking for nearly 1,200 new employees. Based on the available jobs, it appears the company is trying to become more than just a social networking site. <coughs> last year, Facebook acquiring Oculus Rift, that is the maker of the virtual reality headsets, $2 billion is what they paid for that company. According to the company's website, it wants to hire more than 50 jobs in that particular unit. Not all. Facebook trying to build its own satellites, its own drones capable of delivering internet service to remote regions around the world. So Hillary, will Facebook become the go-to? In other words, you get social and then you get everything that Google is offering now. Well, Facebook is certainly trying to do that, but it's difficult. The good news for Facebook, though, is these kinds of investments are really insignificant in comparison to their advertising revenue and their core business. Right. So what do you think, Matt? Is well, it buy or not? I like it. You know, you look at how much they get a revenue per employee. Uh, Facebook right now, 384,000. Google, 183,000. So they get a lot out of each employee. Granted, you add more workforce, that number may drop. But I, I think they're doing the right thing. I, I mean, I, I, it took them a while to get moving once they're a publicly traded company. They now realize they need to diversify a bit. They're almost a Google of 10 years ago because Google realized they need to diversify. Facebook's doing the same thing. They're bringing on smart people. This, I'd much rather own Facebook stock today versus Google uh, you know, at any point. All right. I, I, I very much oh. agree with I very much agree with Matt on that point. And also, I think about what they did with Instagram that back in 2012. They paid a billion dollars. Which every, everybody at the time said was crazy. Everyone accused them of overpaying. Right. And, by, and you know, by certain analysts' expectations, Instagram now is worth probably 12 to 14 times uh, that number. And it's allowing them to keep customers, keep users uh, that, that Facebook either wouldn't have lost or wouldn't have attracted. So their acquisition strategy they're really using their stock uh, value to their uh, to their advantage. I and mean, the holy grail for them seems to be, we want to be your homepage, we yes. want to be just that go-to spot. So again, I think they're through acquisitions, I, I, I'm a big believer right now in what Facebook is doing. Well, and not to take a page from Joni Courtney's playbook, but when you see a company growing at this level and hiring at the level that they're, they're growing at, that means growth for the company. So, I mean, and, and you're going to see, again, the sector, if Facebook is, is growing at this level, hiring all these people, other social media stocks are probably going to get on board as well. And as far as this virtual reality, hotter and hotter, right? Facebook is not the only one investing. So that says something for surgeons. There's gaming usages. I mean, there's a lot of different applications. Yeah, I think they went with uh, less about the uh, the glass the glass hole uh, and more about the gaming, uh, which I think has a probably a little bit more applicability uh, for the virtual reality. Also, there, I guess their internet access is a project that they're very passionate about and they will benefit throughout, again, their yeah, system. Yeah, it's pretty cool, um, right? Yes. So very that's the only way they can grow. Yes. I mean, the only way they can grow is the idea that people don't have internet. They need more and They want to put those satellites up and, and beam into place where you have internet. And what are you going to do? Log into Facebook. Get more users. Get more users right from Nepal. No.